Late night munchies have you circling the kitchen like a hungry shark. <laughs> Nutritionist <laughs> Alyssa Bowman is here with some before bedtime snacks that you don't have to feel guilty about. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. So why are why is late night snacking so bad for us? Because when we're sleeping, we should not be digesting. We should be repairing, rejuvenating, and just resting. But when we eat really late at night, or we have a very large big dinner late at night, we may be sleeping, but while we're sleeping, our body is digesting. That's not what sleep is for. Sleep is for repairing and rejuvenating. Okay. So do you ever wake up feeling tired? All the time. That means part of the reason is your body's digesting and not repairing and not having enough time to repair. Okay. So if you try to make your dinners a little bit earlier, mm -hmm. and if you do have the late night urges, we all do, try to eat something that will actually help and bring on sleep a little bit more. Okay, so what do you have, what do you recommend for so late So a lot of people get, you know, that salty craving. Mm -hmm. So instead of reaching for a potato chip, reach for a kale chip. You can buy these, you can make them. They're mm -hmm. so simple to make. The recipe is on my website. Mm. And kale chips are loaded in mm. calcium. And oh, calcium okay. reduce, brings on that sleepy hormones and helps us actually sleep more. That's why that, that myth of drinking a glass of uh, hot milk at night helps you sleep for the calcium. True in some cases, but try to avoid dairy products as well because oh. they produce a lot of mucus and mucus will actually keep us up and our body's fighting to digest that instead of the repairing that I was talking about. Good tips, okay. What else do you recommend? Lentils, like a warm lentil soup, a lentil salad. Lentils are a nutritional mm. powerhouse. And I would recommend them because not only are they loaded in fiber, they keep you full. So you're not gonna wake up in the middle of the night when you're really like a hunger pain. Mm -hmm. I also like them because it's one of the few foods that you could eat that is not gonna make you gain weight at night. Oh. So a lot of people eat at night. We tend to wonder why we're putting on the pounds is because you're really not supposed to eat after six-ish. Right. But lentils is an exception to that okay. because they're loaded in fiber and protein. Got a lot of nuts and seeds Nuts, here. you know, I'm a big fan of snacking on nuts anytime, but especially at night if you're hungry because they satiate that hunger. And they also, again, they have that salty, salty to fix that salty craving. Those are Brazilian mm. nuts loaded in selenium walnuts uh, loaded in omega-3, and pumpkin seeds that actually have that uh, tryptophan, which makes us sleepy. Oh. So all three of these nuts will bring on sleep and help you sleep better. Bananas? Bananas, I know, it's like bananas is a powerhouse anytime as well, but bananas um, loaded in potassium magnesium. And these are also brings on that sleepy time and really helps your muscles relax and get to bed. Like magnesium, we all are um, deficient in it and bananas are loaded in magnesium. So try to eat as much foods with magnesium. Okay. Uh, hummus. Hummus here. Hummus and chickpeas. Don't be shy to spread that and use some vegetables. That's a great late night snack because hummus actually has B6 in it. And that is a very important vitamin to help relax your body, and again, help you sleep and sleep for longer. Okay. A little avocado toast? Oh, that's not toast. that is sweet potato. So a oh. lot of people say, um, yes, this is something new I've been experimenting with okay. because I love avocado and toast, but bread at night for me doesn't work. It makes me actually feel bloated, and I know a lot of my other clients say the same thing. So you cut a little piece of the sweet potato, which is loaded in vitamins and beta carotene especially, uh -huh. and pop it in the, in the toaster. Really? Pop it down twice and then spread some avocado on it. So that's an avocado sweet potato toast. I've Yum. been playing around with it. It's delicious. Avocado sweet potato toast. It's, it's fun to say too. <laughs> okay. But carbs, don't be afraid of carbs. If you're eating the good carbs at night, you will not you know, gain weight as everybody thinks that carbs help you make you gain weight. Good carbs like air popcorn, um, loaded in fiber, some healthy granola with very low sugar and sweet potato. And this also brings on sleepiness, lets your body relax and lets you sleep longer. Okay, got some, some drinks here. Got some, you know, of course, you know, that warm milk that I was talking about. What about some warm milk, warm almond milk with cinnamon? Cinnamon regulates your blood sugars and relaxes you. So instead of oh. reaching for the, the milk, Use the, use the almond milk, and it's actually really a tasty treat. You can add some honey in there, and it's very relaxing. Also, hot water with lemon is one of my favorites. It really flushes you out for the day and helps you sleep. And you can add some turmeric into this, and again, it really helps you sleep and relax. I've been hearing so much about turmeric. It's kind of like a it, the new thing. It is it? a little bit of a press darling, but for re with reason. It is a massive anti-inflammatory and really helps, um, really helps soothe your body and prevents certain cancers and many, many diseases. Wow. wow, good stuff. Um, just quickly before we go, how long should you stop eating before you go to bed? Ideally, yep. you, shouldn't, you should stop eating at six o'clock. Okay, but regardless of what time you go to bed? 
uh, regardless okay. of what time you go Six to bed. Oh, but if you do need to eat, have a healthy uh, alternative like this yeah. that really brings on sleep. All right, some healthy alternatives here. Yes. Good stuff. Thanks, Alyssa. Thanks for having me. Good information. If you want to watch this segment again, go to our website, ctvmorninglive.ca.